Welcome back to GDestin. Did you hear bringing more VPets? Alrighty guys, so uh, it's been a couple days for me uh, since I made a video, but let me show you what we got. They did Digivolve, um, they had zero care mistakes, and they were all, all level 8, I believe level 8, 6, 8, whatever the max level was for the uh, perfect slash ultimate. Alright, we're here, boom, we got Jessmon, Jessmon X, pretty cool looking Digimon, although a sprite, uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, I can't remember, I don't know if there was actually a regular Jessmon, but uh, I do remember his sprite. It looks very similar, if that, from the other one, from the uh, the pendulums we last got, because he did appear in these devices too. But he looks pretty much the same to me. I uh, love his sprite. I mean, although it is a lot pretty close to the uh, Durandal Mall, Durandal, Durandal, Durandal Mall, Durandal, Durandal, Durandal Mon. So uh, form. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, cool looking Digimon. I definitely love it. Uh, strong Digimon. Uh, he got to level 7 because right in the very morning, uh, I got like 3 encounters. Uh, 2 encounters were Damimon and he beat them both and he got like 2000 EXP. And then he also got some kind of gift too for food or uh, some kind of item. But yeah, that boosted his level up pretty fast. Uh, so definitely a strong Digimon. Um, I didn't really, I don't really have to do anything because I already beat the Coliseum. Got a good roll, side roll there, see? Yeah, I already beat the Coliseum. I already unlocked everything I can. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not much else other than just, you know, raising different Digimon. And this is a Digimon we haven't seen yet, uh, or I haven't raised for the DMXs yet, which is pretty cool. Alright, set that aside. And for the white one over here, we got uh, Beelstarmon. Beelstarmon is a pretty cool looking Digimon, the female uh, version of Beelzebubon. Oh, this is Beelstar X. Sorry, X. This is the X version. So uh, before we weren't uh, in the other devices, the, the Pendulum devices, you were not able to raise uh, Beelstarmon, but you were able to get Beelstarmon as a code, if I recall correctly. But code does not exactly mean raising. So you could use it in battle as a Copymon, but you couldn't raise it by yourself. Uh, and, and as for this, these devices, you can see we have Beelstarmon. Oh, I'll show you a picture over here too inside. I took a picture earlier. Uh, so I mean, Virus Digimon have their uh, their bar for attacking after the roll is just super on the left. Their hit bar is super on the left. It's I mean, it's kind of annoying because the because you know you start on the left, you go to the right, and you go back. So you got to wait for it to go all the way back, or you got to hit it really fast just to get it down there. But then you can't control when you get exactly if you don't hit it right. But um, still pretty cool Digimon. I'm not sure where they're gonna go Digimon into next. Uh, this will be the third run of this device. Uh, I might take a little break of the DMX's just because um, it's, it's not much else to do. We be in the Coliseum. You know, ooh, I do want to show you guys before we uh, stop these guys, before they stop Digivolving. I'll show you a quick battle, or let me just show you, uh, let me do the battle. Okay. Um, let's just go to the first here. I do love, I, I love, love the, uh, it, was it critical animation? The critical animation scared me a little bit. Uh, I'll be able to start on X's. All right, so let's hope for a good roll. Ooh, awesome! That's such a cool, good roll. Such a good roll for the video. Perfect. So see how this? There it is. It's super unlocked. So I gotta wait for it all the way back. Hopefully, I get it. Oh, it's just off it. Uh, sorry, guys. I also failed my part. Um, it's it's cause it's too slow. Sometimes I think I feel like I I like the number. I like the side roll being at. Like, Three or four. Three or four is like perfect for me. Let's see if we get it. No. Uh, oh, I gotta show you guys again. Okay, hold on. I need a train. I need a train to build Starmon, anyways. Yeah, barely any XP. All right, let's see how we get. Okay, six. Still pretty good. All right. Really concentrate. There we go. Shoot it right on the mark. Look at that, that giant cool bullet right there. Oh, I love that. One hit KO. Pretty awesome. All right, so that's what that's what that is. Uh, I love, I love, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure. I, I don't remember using Gilstarmon. And like I said, usually most of the time I skip the battle animation so I don't see their uh, attack sprites, but uh, I definitely love its attack sprite. I don't know if it's a new one or old one. Somebody let me, let me know in the comments below if it is an old reused one, but love that attack sprite, guys. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about, um, I'll have a picture on the side over here, so I'm going to have my laptop. But, um, so there were a, a new, there was a new Digimon announced, an actual new Digimon. Although, I, I guess I would kind of say technically, you know, quote-unquote new Digimon. Because this Digimon, uh, I have over here, the the baby, the, the rookie form, is called Jazamon. 
Uh, Justin Mod is a new Digimon that was released for Digimon Lynx. Uh, if you don't know, Digimon Lynx is a uh, app, uh, Digimon app game. I think it came out last year or the year before that. But um, it is a pretty. I I did try it in the beginning, and I did use spend a little money in it and a little bit of time into it. But uh, the game just got too grind heavy, and too it, 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 you need a lot of money. <laughs> you need a lot of money, and you need a lot of time. Like whenever there's an event, you have to grind if you really want. To get to a certain Mega Digimon, you have to really grind for that Digimon. But this Digimon, you see, looks a lot like Vorvomon. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just the, the cop basis of it. Um, it looks cool. The rookie looks pretty cool. If we go on, we look and see the champion form, the adult form, is Jazadoman. Jazadoman. Uh, definitely looks some like some kind of aircraft. L reminds me a little bit of Sp Sparrowmon from Cross Wars uh, Fusion, or it also kind of reminds me a bit of. Uh, Terra, Terramon? Pateramon? I'm not sure. It's like a... I'll show a picture over here. I'm not sure if that's the name, but it basically looks like a jet, too. But uh, I definitely love the Aldo form. The Aldo form, I love that one. And then, oh, same thing with the uh, ultimate slash perfect form. Uh, it's called Jazarikmon. Jazari, um, looks like a fighter craft. Uh, oh, by the way, all these images, are I, I got them from With the Will. Shout out to them. Uh, definitely check out What the Will if you're into Digimon. They have, they are always bringing you news and the latest updates on Digimon and Digimon related things. Uh, yeah, love this form. Um, although I mean, a little too skinny for me. I don't. I like my Digimon kind of chunky, thick, and big. Uh, and then last but not least, the Mega Form. Meta form. The Mega Form is called uh, Metal Metallic Metallic Drum Metallic Dramon. Again, looks very similar to Vorvamon's uh, Mega Form. I can't, I can't remember the names of uh, Vorvamon's uh, forms, but looks pretty similar. Uh, it is a cool looking Digimon, but I mean, I'm kind of I kind of don't like it because the the rookie and uh, um, champion, the rookie and the Mega Form kind of are, are like just reused. You know, I mean, I know Digimon reuses a lot of uh, kind of forms and stuff, but this is way too on the nose, especially in this time. You know, like that was back then. This is now. They have the ability to make new Digimon, like. Uh, Edisamon, and then the other Digimon, uh, I forgot what his name is, can't think of the other one, the the one that was, the Bokomon, Bokomon is a super cool Digimon, they came for, out for that Chinese Digimon game, and it's super original too, but you know, uh, this this new Digimon, it's not so original, but uh, still got good looks, good looks, and then another thing, uh, I just found out this, this Digimon, I have that picture on the screen here, Surfimon, Surfimon was uh, part of a contest, I think, uh, from what I can tell or what I'm reading. It looks like it was part of a contest and it was made into a Digimon by a fan. Uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting Digimon. <laughs> um, a, lot, a lot of people, uh, I forgot who, sorry, I forgot who it was, but somebody on one of the comments, I think on the, the page in the, with the wheel, was like, it looks like one of Mega Man X's like, uh, Mavericks, which is one of the bad guy robots bosses. And he does look like that. I mean, he is a cool looking Digimon. Um, Surfing, definitely love the surfing aspect of it, but then he looks a little too wild to, for Digimon, kind of. It's like, needs a bit cleaned up a little bit, or too many, like, little detail, like, de de detailed pieces, which makes him look off, and not, not really Digimon-like. Plus, he also kind of looks like Flame Dramon. It looks like X, you know, uh, X, not X, you know, you know, Vimon inside of armor, just a different head, different armor. But, uh, pretty cool looking Digimon. Oh, Surfimon, let me read the little description of it. Surfimon is... While it is an aquatic Digimon, it has been upgraded to allow it to move quickly even out of water. It has a personality of a lone wolf and dislikes schooling like fish due to its uh, great pride. Its special moves are rotating the spikes protruding its body like a chainsaw so that they simultaneously perform the role of both offense and defense. Barrier Blade, I guess that's its attack name, as well as riding the hoverboard, Dash Slider, that makes that ma it makes appear from the third eye on its head. Oh, I didn't even see that. Accelerating to the light speed and then performing a charging attack. Lightning Cutter. Wow, that is a mouthful. But a uh, cool Digimon. Uh, I want to see who Digizol's into it. Um, there's definitely a few Shark Digimon already out there. Uh, like Tylomon. Tylomon is kind of my one of my favorite uh, looking Digimon, a fish Digimon, like a shark, kind of like a almost like not like it's like a tiger shark kind of thing. And then there's also Deathmon, which is a they're both armored evolution Digimon, but who knows how that kind of works in the, the rest of the mainstream world. Anyways, um, that's about it, guys. Uh, for now, I'm just going to wait. I think it's about 48 hours till we get to the Mega, all, the Super Ultimate, Super Mega, Super Mega Level Digimon. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to get them to Max Level 2. Uh, have the whole weekend. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this. I did get a bunch of uh, things in the mail, too. 
you know, shout out to Town Ale. I'll be making another video for the weekend. Uh, shout out to Japan you want. But, yeah, new video coming out. It's called For the Human Player. Check that out, guys. It's com coming out soon. And I also do have a Tamagotchi. I really want to run the color Tamagotchi because it's my first my first color Tamagotchi. And it, I, it looks really cool. I mean, I'm not too, you know, keen on the cuteness of it. But I like the aspect that, you know, you get to raise something else. And like I said, V-Pets are coming a very big part of my life. Very fun. Very nice to have around. All right. That about wraps it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. And don't forget to leave some comments, guys. I love reading comments. And, yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. Until next time, peace.